Welcome to your weekly edition of me, James, talking to you about our new coffee release at Blending Room. Today, it is Matambu Hill, which is a washed red bourbon from Burundi. If you're new here, my name's James. I run a coffee roastery based in Hull, East Yorkshire called Blending Room. And on a weekly basis, I talk to you about the new coffee that we have brought out for our subscribers, our customers at Beverly Market, and more broadly, on the internet. I'll do three things today. One is talk about the roast profile, two, how the coffee tastes, and three, how I feel that you should brew it. So let's dig straight into the roast profiles. I've done three 12 kilo batches on our Loring S15 Falcon, and these three batches were broadly similar. There was give or take a couple of seconds in total roast time. The target end temperature, 211.8 degrees Celsius, was plus or minus 0.1 degree over Celsius, and a post first crack development time of no greater than 1 minute 25, uh, on average 124, 125. Um, I have roasted red bourbons, washed red bourbons from Burundi before, so I had an idea exactly of how I wanted to play this out on the roasting, uh, which is why I was comfortable to go with a consistent roast profile across these three batches. The idea with an African coffee is to promote as much of the sweetness, as much of the fruit character as you possibly can, because coffees from these regions are so wonderfully complex, and that's exactly what you want to present in the cup. And you do so by a quick roast time, hard and fast as we call it, short first development time, but my idea is that I always want to try to attain as much balance as I can in the cup. So the three roast profiles that you'll see on the screen now a 9 minutes 51, 9 minutes 52 in total roast time, uh, end temperature 211.7 to 11.8, and also uh, a post first crack development time of 1 minute and 25 seconds, give or take one second either side. Um, you'll note that there is a very similar roast profile shape. It was the same methodology across all three roasts, and that is to present as much consistency in the cup as I possibly could. Now let's talk about how the coffee tastes. So two things we need to do. One, we've got to uh, engage with the aroma profile because that leads into flavor and taste. And two, of course, we've got, we've got to drink it. So first on the nose, you can smell lots of brown sugar, sticky sweetness, which has a little bit of stone fruit. There's, we put cherry cola. So there's the stone fruit element of it but you'll just be able to pick up all of these sweet brown sugar sweetness characters on the nose. And let's hope that leads into the cup, which it absolutely does. There's a big dark chocolate finish. It's crisp and clean. The cup profile is syrupy and there's sweetness from front to back. You have this cherry cola type characteristic. Those stone fruits are really quite prevalent. It's a really well balanced coffee. I'm, I'm mightily impressed by this. From those flavor profiles, we'll be able to discern what type of brew methods this coffee will be best suited for. And I feel, as usual, filter coffee in its lovely open dilution will be exactly where this coffee sits. However, it has enough of the syrupy sweetness and that dark chocolate on the finish that I think for people who like Nouveau espresso-based drinks, this would be right up your street as well. Hybridized brewers such as the Clever Dripper, wonderful, because the full immersion will really eke out those sweet characteristics. The filter paper will clean it all up so you'll get sweetness, balance, and you'll get all of that clarity as well. Uh, where I really would like you to drink this is in filter coffee. So this is a, a bulk batch brew as I would usually do for these videos, uh, and, and it is just wonderful. So in synopsis, this is Mutamba Hill. It is a washed red bourbon from Burundi, brought to you by Omwani Coffee Importers based up in York, Yorkshire. Uh, it is syrupy sweet, really well balanced. It will be well suited to cafeteria and filter brewing. And for those of you who enjoy Nouveau espressos, this would work for you as well. As usual, thank you for your time. This coffee is available for you to purchase online and not at Beverly Market this Saturday the 10th because I am not present. I'm away having a family break, uh, but I'll be back on the 17th. So online or at the roastery, you're welcome to come and grab a bag. 
Anyway, in the meantime, have a wonderful weekend and see you again next week. Cheers.